Hey guys, it's Krebs and welcome back to War Thunder. I'm here to open up a dialogue and discussion with you guys to talk about the latest things that Gaijin has been flaunting and teasing us. And that is the British Ground Forces going to be coming out in War Thunder. If you didn't know about it, then, well, you live under a rock, I'm sorry to say. If you want to read more about it, then I will link a link to the dev blog in the description box below so you can go check it out. But otherwise, let's talk about it, shall we? So, Gaijin, recently, the last few days, has shown us three new vehicles they're going to be introducing for the British ground forces in War Thunder and how they're going to impact the game. Now then, is Krebsy excited? Well, you know what, guys? I've been playing the game for about two and a half years now, so this is just another content update. What I'd personally like to see more is uh, them fixing some of the bullshit that's been sticking to this game like bird crap to a car for the last two and a half years before they add in more content but you know that's a whole nother matter all right that's personally what i'd like to see but otherwise you know them adding in uh new vehicles and stuff is pretty cool i always like seeing new vehicles no complaints there but how is it going to impact the game well to be honest with you guys i don't think it's going to impact the game uh, that much. All it's gonna be is seeing more vehicles, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of nice because Here I am, you know playing tier 4 right now for you guys, and I just feel like all I'm seeing is Tiger 2s IS-2s T-44s, you know same tanks over and over so the addition of new tanks will of course make the game more interesting uh, Different opponents to take on more things to learn have to expand your knowledge of where to shoot at vehicles and whatnot, so that's always cool. But apart from that, you know, the core meta is gonna be exactly the same. You know, just because all of a sudden you have a Centurion on the field doesn't mean that... Holy Jesus, it's a brand new game, it's not. But how are these tanks gonna fit in? What are they gonna do? Well, firstly, the Comet is gonna be a medium tank. And it's gonna be... Uh, good at flanking, as you can imagine. They say it has a 77mm cannon. It's supposed to take, like, tier 3s or 4s or something like that. So I imagine, essentially, it's going to be like uh, a T-34. That's the way that I like to think of it. A T-34, not exactly the best of armor, but a good cannon and also that flanking speed. That's the thing that I can most akin it to. Churchill, heavy tank. I think they said it was going to be tier 3-ish. Now, Churchill, historically, is meant to be an infantry support tank. How the hell is it going to rack up against enemy vehicles? Well, that's what gets me worried. They even say in the dev blog itself that the Churchill is a 6-pounder gun, but still lackluster in terms of its speed and uh, capabilities of taking on enemy vehicles. So what you're going to have to do with it is you're going to have to close that distance by slowly approaching your enemies, and then take him on in close combat. Now this makes me worried. Because in general in War Thunder, there are weak spots everywhere on tanks. Even at the front, okay? So, if the Churchill has weak spots, then people are just going to snipe it. I mean, it's easy in arcade to just snipe at somebody's green area. It's not, it's not rocket science, okay guys? It's not rocket science. They'll be able to find the weaknesses of the Churchill at the front and then take it out. So that makes me a little bit worried. What is that tank going to have of benefit over other vehicles, you know? And that brings on another topic of personality of tanks. What I really, really want to see more of in War Thunder, and maybe this patch will change that. I want to see personalities in tanks. You know, I'm not sure if you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. For example, if I see a Churchill on the front line, then I, I should be able to expect him to be able to take a lot of hits and then possibly even lead the charge for his vehicles, his allies nearby. And that's what I want to see. I want to see people taking up defense behind uh, a Churchill. And then moving up. So that people know that the Churchill is a tank that can take shots. It has trouble dealing damage itself. But it helps allies 
close that distance. That's personality, all right? So, I mean, hopefully that's going to be something that comes out. I died. Kind of sucks. That guy flanked me. So that's what I'm hoping to see. I want to see that Churchill be able to close distances and not just be automatically destroyed. I want it to be uh, hard for enemies to penetrate from the front. The only chance they're going to have is to take it on from the side. That's what I want to see. Centurion is going to be a tier 4 vehicle. They say it's going to be able to combat the T-44, late modifications of the Panther. And that's nice. Like I was saying, at this tier, I feel like I'm seeing just the same stuff all the time. Most people are going for either Germans or Russians. Hardly see anyone really going for uh, Americans. And maybe that's just because they're a newer faction. Or maybe because they're less interesting, I don't know. But that's what I tend to see. Actually, when I think about it, I'm not really using the Americans that much as well. And I'll tell you why, actually. It's because at the lower tiers, I feel like the Americans kind of suffer a little bit with combat effectiveness. Maybe they've gotten better in the recent patch. I don't know. But that's the main reason as to why. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. I haven't re been really leveling up the Americans so much. Whoa, this Give me one second here, guys. That guy got wrecked. Holy macaroni. Let's see if I can bomb something really quick here. Uh, just on the IS-1. Not a priority target, but... Hey, man, he's standing still. Take him out. One for you. And one for you, my good sir. I got 17 seconds to turn this around. Oop, that's one guy. Come on. Missed the IS-2. Missed that guy as well. Uh-oh. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Whoops. So the Centurion, going to be a nice addition to see. Uh, in At Tier 4. Probably going to be a formidable tank, I imagine. Probably with its sloped nature of armor. I imagine it's going to be quite hard to kill. But now it also brings to this question... What else is going to be released? Well, we don't actually officially know what else is going to be released, but I can tell you that I am damn excited. After playing World of Tanks for a number of years, haven't touched it in a while now, can you imagine the TOG 2 in this game? Who is not excited for that tank? Of course it's going to be released as a premium. I mean, let's be let's be honest here. Gaijin is, is of course, going to be releasing a TOG 2 as a premium if they do work on it. But also another vehicle I'd like to see... The Churchill AVRE. That had something like 290 millimeter shell. Holy shit. That would be absolutely insane. Of course, I know it's meant to be destroying fortifications. Sort of a salt tank, if you will. But I mean, we've seen Gaijin adding in the Calliope. Who's to say they can't add in a Churchill AVRE? It'd be absolutely ridiculous. But I would love it. I would love to see its capabilities against vehicles. I imagine it would act a lot like... Uh-oh. A KV-2, an ISU-152, or any other tank, really, of that big caliber nature. There's an enemy vehicle over there. And also, back from my uh, Company of Heroes days, I've got a lot of nostalgic moments where I've used the Churchill AVRE. And that thing was an absolute beast. So seeing it in War Thunder would be so freaking cool. I would love that. If I could say anything to Gaijin right now, please add the Churchill AVRE. People might think it's ridiculous, but... Hell, you've got ridiculous tanks in here already, and I'm sure you can make it work. So that's pretty much it. Of what they're adding to the game. They haven't really teased anything else. But I imagine... That as time goes on, they will be showing us more of what will be coming out. I imagine that they're going to do it a lot like how they released uh, the American Ground Forces. They'll add in a sort of closed beta where you got to pay. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, if they've done it once, so who's to say they won't do it again? I can see somebody on my map around here. Maybe he's dead. Indeed, he is dead. Unless this was the guy and I've paid attention to the wrong guy. God damn it, he just killed a bunch of my dudes. And he could probably use his third person to look around. No! 
<laughs> Do you look? I love how he just like appeared out of nowhere. Did you guys see that? He rushed out at full speed, and then he just like appeared. He pulled a Houdini, and then he spam shotted, failed, and uh, he got a taught a lesson. He got taught a lesson in pain. There's one dude around there. So I think overall you could say I am looking forward to. Oh my gosh, they come out of nowhere. I am looking forward to these new vehicles being added in. Of course, I really like different features to be worked on. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are problems stemming from since I started playing in the open beta when it first came out two and a half years ago. There's problems all the way back then. Still in the game. People have been complaining about it. But it's like a cake. They uh, Rather than fixing the sponge, all right, they keep on adding icing to cover it up. All right, they need to fix the sponge. Fix the sponge of that cake. That's what they need to do. I'm trying to get to A right now. I'm not sure. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we pretty much lost. I tried. I tried my best, guys. I tried my best. But I think overall, out of those three tanks that they've shown, Churchill's probably my number one favorite. Just seems to be like the tank with the most possible personality out of it. I would love to be able to to just rush the enemy and then they couldn't be able to destroy me from the front. I think that would be so cool to be able to close that distance and they can't penetrate you from the front, but you know that's not going to happen. You know that there's always going to be weak spots and then all of a sudden the Churchill is going to be probably one of the worst tanks you could imagine to have. Just going to get slaughtered and it's going to suck. But there you go, guys. So what are you looking forward to? Which of those three tanks? What are you uh, looking forward to in, in the future? What else do you think they're going to add? All right, guys. Until the next video, this is Krebs. And I'll catch you guys next time.